to Angie's Creative Studio. Welcome back. I am doing something a little bit different today. I'm uh, getting food off my desk at the moment. Um, I've been cleaning the craft room a lot and reorganizing it and moving furniture and blah, blah, blah. I mean, I ran across this, the paper punk, pumpkin box. I threw the box away, but I kept this thing out of it. And it's just a kit of different things. This one has the uh, little dilly waffles and the. Anyways, I got to think. And it's got a stamp set. And I've took the stamp set out years ago. And I mean, this is five, six, seven, seven, eight years old, probably. I took. I've used the uh, stamp set. But I forgot about even having this, y'all. So, I sat down and I made this card that this is some of the stuff that came in the kit. And I got to thinking, well, we can, I can do this with what I have with the Cricut or the Cameo or the Skinny Cat. So, that's what I did. So, you'll need the stamp set. And it's the Hey Man uh, Paper Pumpkin Kit. And I'm thinking you can probably buy the stamps. I don't know. I'm not going to switch it. But I made a little kit. I put my ink pad, my little dillies, my scissors, blah, blah, blah. And uh, I did this just a minute ago because I was afraid I wasn't going to get to videotape it anytime soon. And uh, excuse me. I'm using a brown marker. I'm using these that, that I can't think what those is called save my life today and I just might cut these out with the Cricut and uh, go and use these and I just use this for my and then I'm going to use this blue and I'm going to cut this down to two and a quarter uh, fourth And while I'm at it, I'm going to just cut this in my making my cord base. And I'm going to cut an inch off because I want it eight inches. Wait. No. A half an inch. Man, I about screwed. That way, I, we won't have to have the paper trimmer back out. Get rid of that. Okay, with this to make the uh, zigzag, I'm just using the pair of uh, decorate edge scissors. Most crafters, if you've been doing crafting, paper crafting long, you have these. If not, I'm sorry. <laughs> Just do that, and I am going to use my ATG gun. I ain't used this baby in a long time, and I'm just going to put some tape on this. And you can do this any way you want to. This is your corn. This is how I'm doing it, and I'm taking this little tag and the didn't get completely cut out like I wanted it, but it'll be okay. And I'm going to make this for a dad. And if y'all know me, I, I put most of my stamps in these little bags. Stampin' Up ink pads. Those are some things of Stampin' Up I like. I think they're too expensive. 
bit. And while I'm stepping, I'm going to put Happy Father's Day. I mean, we got Father's Day coming around the corner. Do we not? It'll be here before we all know it, won't it? take this brown pen and this is just a brown um, easy end color marker fine liner it's like a 4.0 and I'm just gonna make my little dots and just kind of dress up this tag a little and I'm is it gonna be even no this is me y'all So, how's everybody doing? Okay, and I'm going to do the same thing with uh, the deal with uh, Happy Father's Day. Now, I cut this all out with the Cricut. You can do, use the Cameo, the Skinny Cut. I, I'm sure. Yeah, I just muted it. Mm, let's redo that. Let's do this. Because I'm going to smear it again. I've got to feel it. Would y'all like to see a, com uh, a video comparing the Cameo, the Skinny Cut, and the Cricut? I am working on it. I am trying to gather up all my information and get uh, a video of it done. Um, it may take me another week, but hopefully I can get it done in the next few days. And y'all, y'all know I get quiet when I'm. I don't know why I do that. I forget that I'm on video, I think. Okay. Let's bring the ink pad back in. And the stamp. Can y'all hear the background of the house? I'm going to take the ATG gun and just run tape down it. And then I'm going to just feed this little tag through here. And this strain came from Dollar Tree. If y'all want, if y'all need some, Dollar Tree's got, well, they've got a pretty good selection of arts and crafts supplies. to do is fold it in half. I've already cut it down. And then I'm going to off center this. I 
I mean, this is, I mean, it's your corn. You can do it, you know, the way you want it. Um, I screw up. And then I'm going to just stick it on this one. And then I'm going to use, uh, it's called pop dock tape. It's just a uh, straight tape, but it's a uh, foam tape. And you, I get it at the Dollar uh, Tree. And I'm not for sure. Two yards of each for a buck. So you get six yards of tape. That's a pretty good buy. <laughs> now, as far as acid free, I really don't know. Corns don't bother me if it's not acid free. Um, so it's it's tape, it's foam tape, and it's easy. Uh, you can sit, stick it straight like this, or you can catty corner it. I think I'm going to just put it straight. And And then I'm going to put my little, um, I can't think of these. Help me, guys. What is it, these silly things called? I mean, no, I mean, I got, I had it once. Uh, this might be glued up. use my quick quick stick I've got what well, I love this thing I'm gonna stick one here and I made these out of um oh shoot uh, some type of beans a couple years ago I made a whole slew of them. I spent days doing it. easy corn and like I said you know you most of us has got all kinds of stamps if we've done any paper craft card making you can use any stamp set you've got and just kind of go with it it was easy simple fast less than 15 minutes I'm doing good today I hope y'all enjoy this video give us a thumbs up subscribe if you have it Come back and see us. Have a blessed day. Bye.